Chapter on the virtue of Laylatul Qadr and the exhortation to seek it when it is and the most likely times to seek it. It was narrated from Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, that some men among the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him were shown Laylatul Qadr in their dreams during the last seven days of Ramadan. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, I see that your dreams agree concerning the last seven nights. So whoever wants to seek it, let him seek it in the last seven nights. It was narrated from Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, that the Prophet peace be upon him said, Seek Laylatul Qadr in the last seven nights. It was narrated from Salem that his father, may Allah be pleased with him, said, a man saw in a dream that Laylatul Qadr was the night of the 27th. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I see that your dreams indicate the last ten nights, so seek it in the odd-numbered ones thereof. Salim bin Abdullah bin Umar narrated that his father, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, concerning Laylatul Qadr, some of you have been shown that it is in the first seven nights, and some of you have been shown that it is in the last seven, so seek it during the last ten nights. It was narrated that Uqba, who is Ibn Huraith, said, I heard Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, say, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Seek it in the last ten nights, meaning Laylatul Qadr. And if one of you feels weak or tired, that should not cause you to miss the last seven nights. Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever wants to seek it, let him seek it in the last ten nights. It was narrated that Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Seek Laylatul Qadr in the last ten nights, or he said, in the last seven nights. It was narrated from Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I was shown Laylatul Qadr, then one of my family woke me up, and I was caused to forget it, so seek it in the last ten nights. Harmala, one of the narrators, said, and I forgot it. It was narrated that Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to observe Atikaf during the middle ten days of the month. Then when twenty nights had passed, and the twenty-first came, he would go back to his home, and those who had been observing Atikaf with him also went back home. Then one month he observed Atikaf on that night when he used to go home. Then he addressed the people and exhorted them as Allah willed. Then he said, I used to observe Atikaf during these ten days. Then I decided to observe Atikaf during these last ten days. So whoever was observing Atikaf with me, let him stay in his place of Atikaf. For I was shown this night, then I was caused to forget it. So seek it in the last ten nights, on every odd-numbered night, for I saw myself prostrating in water and mud. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri said, It rained on the night of the twenty-first, then the masjid leaked at the place where the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed. I looked at him when he had finished praying subh, and his face was wet with mud and water. It was narrated that Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to observe Atikaf during Ramadan, during the middle ten days. And he quoted a similar hadith as number 2769, except that he said, Let him stay in his place of Atikaf. And he said, His forehead was streaked with mud and water. It was narrated that Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, said, 
The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, observed Atikaf during the first ten days of Ramadan. Then he observed Atikaf during the middle ten days, in a Turkish tent that had a reed mat over the door. He took hold of the mat and put it in the corner of the tent. Then he put his head out and spoke to the people, who drew close to him. He said, I observed Atikaf during the first ten days, seeking this night. Then I observed Atikaf during the middle ten. Then someone came to me, and I was told that it is in the last ten nights. So whoever among you wants to observe Atikaf, let him do so. So the people observed Atikaf with him, and he said, I was shown that it is an odd-numbered night, and that I was prostrating the following morning in mud and water. On the morning of the twenty-first, when he got up to pray subh, it had rained and the masjid had leaked. When he came out after praying subh, there was water and mud on his forehead and on the tip of his nose, and that was the night of the twenty-first, one of the last ten nights. It was narrated that Abu Salama said, We were talking about Laylatul Qadr, so I went to Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, who was a friend of mine, and said, Let's go out to the palm trees. So he came out wearing a khamisa, and I said to him, Did you hear the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, mention Laylatul Qadr? He said, Yes. We observed Atikaf with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, during the middle ten days of Ramadan, and we came out on the morning of the twentieth. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, addressed us and said, I was shown Laylatul Qadr, but I forgot it, or I was caused to forget it, so seek it in the last ten nights on the odd-numbered nights. And I saw that I was prostrating in water and mud, so whoever was observing Atikaf with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, let him go back. So we went back and we did not see any clouds in the sky. Then a cloud came and it rained, until the roof of the masjid, which was made of palm branches, flowed with water. The iqama was called for the prayer, and I saw the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prostrating in water and mud, until I saw the traces of mud on his forehead. A similar report, as number 2772, was narrated from Yahya bin Abi Kathir with this chain. In their hadith it says, I saw the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, when he had finished praying, and on his forehead and the tip of his nose there was traces of mud. It was narrated from Abu Nadra that Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, observed Atikaf during the middle ten days of Ramadan, seeking Laylatul Qadr before it was shown to him. When they were over, he ordered that the tent be taken down. Then he was shown that it, Laylatul Qadr, was in the last ten nights. So he ordered that the tent be put back. Then he came out to the people and said, O oh people, Laylatul Qadr was shown to me and I came out to tell you about it. But two men came disputing, and the shaitan was with them, and I was caused to forget it. So seek it in the last ten nights of Ramadan. Seek it on the ninth, the seventh, and the fifth. I, Abu Nadra, said, O oh, Abu Sa'id, you know more about numbers than I do. He said, Yes, we are bound to. I said, What are the ninth, the seventh and the fifth. He said, When twenty-one nights have passed and the next night is the twenty-second, that is the ninth. When twenty-three have passed, the next night is the seventh. And when twenty-five have passed, the next night is the fifth. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Unais that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I was shown Laylatul Qadr, then I was caused to forget it, but I was shown that on the following morning, I would be prostrating in water and mud. It rained on the night of the twenty-third, and the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, led us in prayer. When he finished, the traces of water and mud were on his forehead and nose. Busr, a narrator, said, 
Abdullah bin Unais used to say, the 23rd. It was narrated that Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Seek Laylatul Qadr in the last ten nights of Ramadan. Zir bin Hubaysh said, I asked Ubay bin Kab, may Allah be pleased with him. Your brother Ibn Mas'ud says that whoever prays Qiyam, night prayers, all year, he will find Laylatul Qadr. He said, May Allah have mercy on him. He intended that the people should not rely on just one night, but he knew that it is in Ramadan, and that it is in the last ten nights, and that it is in the night of the 27th. Then he swore unequivocally that it is the 27th. I said, On what basis do you say that, O Abu al-Mundhir? He said, By the sign of which the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, told us, On that day the sun rises with no rays. It was narrated that Ubay bin Kab, may Allah be pleased with him, said concerning Laylatul Qadr, By Allah, I know it. Shu'ba, one of the narrators, said, To the best of my knowledge, it is the night which the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, commanded us to spend in prayer. It is the night of the 27th. Shu'ba was uncertain about this phrase. It is the night which the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, commanded us to spend in prayer. He said, A friend of mine narrated it to me from him. It was narrated that Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, said, We were talking about Laylatul Qadr in the presence of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he said, Who among you remembers when the moon rose looking like a part of a ball? Part of a